Let's, um, uh, let's, should we talk about the Royals? Uh, because uh, Harry and Meghan uh, have been voted uh, Hollywood's biggest losers by the From Hollywood Reporter. From one Muppet Reporter. to a couple of others. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. having lived there, I can tell you, you know, the Hollywood Reporter is Tinseltown's Bible. Everyone takes it incredibly seriously. And at the end of every year, they come up with the biggest winners and losers uh, from the capital of, world capital of showbiz. And uh, they have uh, listed Harry and Meghan as the biggest losers uh, due to the, the whining nature of Harry's book Spare and the whining nature of their Netflix uh, uh, documentary Harry and Weg Harry and Meghan. So uh, it's not a good. A plus, they've lost uh, they've, their uh, donations to the Archwell Foundation have dropped to almost nothing, uh, by, uh, falling by nine million pounds last year. They're in big trouble, aren't they? It's great to see, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that, that <at> last, <laughs> it's great to see that at last Hollywood have seen through yeah. this pair of idiots. Yes. Um, you know they've gone over there to great fanfare. I, I would suspect that the the LA glitterati were really quite happy about the, about that at the beginning, um, but now of course they've seen through them, haven't they? They've seen them for what they are. Uh, they're grifters, uh, and that they've basically laid out a life, an existence based on slating other people, and not even worrying one iota who they throw under the bus, including their own families. So um, I think this is just desserts for Harry and Meghan, don't you? Yeah, I yeah. think they've come to the end of the road, essentially, haven't they? I don't really see what else they're going to do. Now. Every single project they've tried seems to have failed. They're, you know, a laughing stock, well, essentially. They've been abandoned, a they? of Abandoned by Netflix, abandoned by Spotify, uh, everything that they touch now. It's the reverse of the Midas touch, whatever that is, isn't it? So Netflix just released its uh, annual viewing figures. They do it by the number of hours that programmes were watched. So uh, the the winner was something called the Night Agent, I think, which was watched by uh, had about 800 million hours around yep. the world. Uh, down in uh, something like 211th place were Harry and Meghan for their documentary. That got 62 million. That sounds quite good, except for it was beaten by Peppa Pig. Yeah, because uh, they are not riding.